my main focus has been uh, has been job creation, to figure out how we get the economy going. I mean, with the economic downturn, people are very concerned about their jobs and, uh, and, and concerned about their communities, and that's pretty much what we heard every day. You know, if you look at Broadwater counties, the economy, we have it all. Uh, we got timber, we got agriculture, we got mining, we have recreation, we have a service sector of, uh, of businesses, we have government jobs. Uh, we, are a, we are a microcosm of multiple of a multiple use economy, and, and this is what we're trying to keep. Our white timber has two manufacturing sites in the state, one in Livingston and Park County, and this one here. Uh, we have, uh, employ approximately two, or 200 total people. It can go to 230 or 240. Our payrolls average around $7 million a year between the two counties. Another thing, we are extensive uh, property owners in this area, in the, in the Bridger area. Uh, our property taxes are roughly a quarter of a million dollars. So um, uh, you can see we're kind of a major player in the, e <laughs> the economics of a couple counties here. We're running approximately 60% of our capacity right now. As of January, we, we uh, had to curtail, and um, we're run, running sawmills three days a week right now. The state of the industry, the lay of the land, toughest market I've seen in 50 years. The downturn in our industry started in the late uh, second half of 2006. Eventually, we figure it's got to turn around. In the interim, there are some steps that R.Y. Timber believes are necessary and need to be taken to ensure the long-term survival of not only R.Y. Timber, but all the mills in Montana. We need the Forest Service, and the Forest Service needs us. Without the industry, fire is the only tool to manage the forest. Uh, the long-term outlook for, you know, we need some, some affordable resources. And that's where, you know, with the beetle problems and stuff, we think we have some real opportunities here to to really cash in on that kind of stuff. The increase in mountain pine beetle activity on the Helena is unprecedented in Region 1, unlike anything we've ever seen in the last 25 years. And we expect that within the next three to five years, without interception, we expect the majority of all pines, which is Lodgepole and Ponderosa, to be either infested with mountain pine beetle or dead as a result of it. So for the Helena, we have about a three to five year plan in place. And granted, it's, it's fluid, flexible. Um, we are proposing uh, three projects to move into NEPA this fiscal year. Uh, it's about 10 to 12,000 acres of timber harvest proposed, coupled with about 10 to 12,000 acres of fuels treatment. The governor of Montana has just sent a letter to the Secretary of Agriculture asking him to set up a I believe it's a pilot pro program with the Helena, Beaverhead Deer Lodge, Bitterroot, and the uh, Lolo to expedite need pub on these forests to get after these bugs. We're all in this together, and I think it was Benjamin Franklin who said, if we don't hang together, we're going to hang separately. So we need to cooperate and to make sure our people, in, our, the people we sent to Washington, I believe, know this. But some people back there seem to think we're a park. We're between parks. This is a place to make enough money to raise your family. And we have to get that across to any elected people we can get our hands on. What some would say is, is a Montana solution to a Montana problem, I would say a Montana solution to a problem that actually is, it, it impacts the world we live in. Uh, and impacts the health of our forests. It impacts the opportunity our kids, kids our grandkids are going to have for, for years to come.